Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we're going to a haunted house, I believe, or whatever. I don't know. Something something Route 14 spooky house thing. We gotta go do the... Oh boy. Alright, so the first thing though is that we can catch a new Pokemon. And there's the potential to get your Gumi, which I've never caught before, but which is this game's like pseudo legendary dragon, I think. Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. What's it gonna be? Please be the Gumi. Don't be something stupid. Don't be something. <gasps> oh, it's a Shelmet. Interesting. So, the thing about this though is that, of course, uh, we would not be able to evolve it. You have to trade it like with its counterpart from Y, like some sort of cricket thing. And then when you trade them, they evolve. So they are really cool, but uh, I don't think we would effectively be able to use them, which is sort of a bummer. In any case, uh, I think it's a bug type. Let's head the volume up. Let's throw out the cloister. Hello, yo. We're still going to try and catch it because you just never know. We are coming up on the fairy gym here soon enough. Uh, which we don't have like a super good answer for because we don't have any poison types on the team. Oh, man, this thing has insane defense. Hmm, interesting. So, we're actually, because we're not playing on an emulator, the idea of trading stuff isn't as impossible as it was. Actually, that would be interesting. Um, it's possible I have a version. Hmm. Hmm. It's possible I actually have the Pokemon we need to trade in another game that we could do the trade for. So I don't know, hmm, that, that would be very interesting. Of course, then you have to do, well, no, you wouldn't even be having like a whole like, oh, this one gets extra experience because it was traded situation because we get it, kaboom, we did, because then it would still be, um, it'd have to come back to us. That's interesting, hmm, mm hmm, hmm. I guess maybe this is possible. Maybe it's possible. That'd be very interesting. I've definitely never used this guy before. Whatever. I think he evolves into Escavalier. Hold on. We're going to go find a name. Carablast are together and both receive electrical stimulation. They both evolve. Yeah, there it is. So you have to trade it with Carablast. That's it. Yes. Ashworth. Welcome, Ashworth, to the team or to the box anyway. Ba boom. There we go. All right. And so our journey continues, but I've read the comments from that video now that that name came from. Uh, I think it's the one where we fought the grass chip and everyone's like, why didn't you evolve, Cloio? That was so dumb. Yeah, that probably was. I was just like, nah, we'll earn it. We'll get there. I don't want to leave the gym and go grind for one level. That would be ridiculous. It would not have been ridiculous. It probably would have been much smarter, much smarter. Okay, I think Juge probably has spent enough time at the front of this lineup don't you think? Uh, looks like maybe we should switch Mr. Lucasander up there since he's now the low level on the team. Well, boom. Hey, you want to fight Pokemon Ranger Girl? Look what I found. It's a trainer. Yep, yeah, that's me. I'm a trainer. You found me. All right. What do you got? Hopefully something that's weak to rocks and ice. Yeah, this will do. I think we can take the Arbok. To her, her buck. Oh, intimidate. I don't like that. Fortunately, we have non physical moves like uh, Aurora Beam. Oh, it's faster than us. Hmm, interesting. Good to know, though. Bam! There you go. Take that. It'd be better if we could get some uh, Ice Beam up in here. Let's go Avalanche, see if it hits us. Oh, it's still doing that. This isn't going to do as much damage now. It's counting on the double damage. Oh, well. Let's see what... I don't even think I've used Avalanche yet. Kaboom. Oh, that did absolutely nothing. Wow. Okay. 
Um, Aurora Beam. Was he going to be spit up? Oh, he oh, he's healing himself. Stockpile seems like the weirdest thing. Because then you lose all of the stuff you got by stockpiling just to heal or just to do the spit up thing. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to take a while. Here we go. Come on. Ugh. Oh, what a fun fight this is. Stockpile. Man, I'm still on the fence about Luca Xander here and the Trap Inch. I don't know. I haven't gotten to the point in the comments where you guys could have commented on it yet. <laughs> uh, so I haven't really mm, been able to. Oh my gosh. Just to do the dumb spit up thing, man. There you go. You should be significantly weaker for this particular blast, though, right? You'd think. It doesn't even look like it's making a difference. Jeez. I guess because he's getting... I don't know. It should make a difference. Maybe we'll thunder wave him. Ah, uh, you're not doing anything. This is the most fun fight ever. Because, uh, like, I really like Luke Xander, but Dragon... Like dragon, why did I, why did I do ancient power? Why would I mix it up? Buh, this was dumb. Shouldn't have done this. Nothing that mattered. I think we're going to get through it. It did so much damage to us. This is all just free experience in the end. That's what we have to, that's the silver lining. The cobra lining, as it were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bam! Oh my gosh. Forever though. Oh, 35. Yay, we did it. Oh, see now the question of <laughs> uh they've got a pie war. Should we try and ancient power it? Or should we try and not see like we have an advantage on the rock side, but a weakness on the ice side? So it's like mm, what do, what do? I kind I want mm, I'm gonna see how this goes. I don't know why. Why would I do it? There's no reason. Let's just do this. Let's just go to Xylia. Yeah. Bam. Now we're at no risk. That's the thing. <laughs> that's my that's like the the real danger of the Nuzlocke is there's parts of me where I'm just like, I'll just be risky. What could go wrong? Everything. Many things could go wrong. Echoed voice. What is this? Mm-hmm. Dumb attack. Also, it's raining, so that surf is going to be super effective. Even more so than it was. Bam. Luke Xander. Yeah! Yeah! Actually, we should maybe switch Xylia to the front just because of that. Just so we can take advantage of the straight up um, fact that it's raining. Let's go. Switch. Plus, low level now anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. We're in the marsh. Can I get that thing? I want that Pokeball. Whatever it is, I'm, I will always want the free items. Oh, a Haunter. Boy, that would have been an interesting catch, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Little Gengar. Actually, that would have been good because I think Gengar is one of the few Pokemon you can also um, Mega Evolve before defeating the Elite Four. Um... Sucker punch. Ah, oh, you jerk sauce. Oh, the Rocky helmet. I love that Xylia has that. I keep forgetting it. In my mind, you know what? I maybe I need to start picturing like the little the shell on her back as the Rocky helmet. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? That would be an easy way to remember. I'd have to go way down here through the marsh. This better be so worth it. It's not going to be. It's not even a TM. Those are yellow. Oh, there's the Gumi. Oh, man. If only. If only. Once again, I'm like, oh, if we got a Gumi. Yeah, absolutely. This wouldn't even be a question. I would clearly just add it to the team. Duh. But, and so it's like, why isn't it the case for the Trap Inch? Why am I, like, holding it? Probably because we've done Trap Inch before. And we haven't done Lucasander. Uh, that's really, I think, most a big mushroom. Oh boy, great, super glad we waded through the marsh. 
But if it was a guy, but I'd have been the same way. We've done that before, so I don't know. Maybe I don't like Trappage as much as I thought. Uh, or maybe I just really like Lucasander, and I like... I love the idea of fossil-type Pokemon. I don't want to fight this thing. This Stunfisk Flatfish thing. Oh, boy. And besides that, the team is doing pretty good right now. All in all, let's... I want to heal Xylia before we fight this... I uh, restocked on potions a little before I started the episode, went and got everyone nice and healed at the Pokemon Center. And there we go. Because we were running low. By low, I mean we were out. Because we've used a bunch. Oh, look, this is another Haunter. It's going down. It's going down. It's going to give it the old surf. The old surf to the turf. Oh, maybe we're not. Maybe we're just going to run because I hate confusion. Or we're going to hit them in one shot and everything will be better. <sighs> yeah, we did. Exactly. Boom. Surf. Dead. Ha. It's my new catchphrase. Surf. Dead. Ha. <laughs> I love that Derek adds those to the very end of every episode. I don't know if you guys stick around to the very end. But at the end of every episode, it's a little boom dead ha clip. To feel shame is to be alive. In an in attempt to never forget that. In an attempt, I believe is what you mean. I battle against trainers like you. In an attempt to never forget that. I battle against trainers like you. Okay. Goomy. Oh, you're going down. Gooms. You got nothing. I'm just going to ice beam you in the next Thursday. Going down. Boy, I don't know what we're going to do about the fairy gym, though. I have no... As far, like, in my mind, I have to... I maybe need to look it up. I think, like, fairy is, like, only weak to poison, though, right? I know dragon is ineffective against it. But I don't think we have a single poison attack on the team. Do we have any... We have, like, Veno shock on the TM side of things, right? But no one can learn it, so that's great. We have... No poison. We're going to have to be very poison jab. Also, no one can learn. Totally lame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe we get tricky with some attract. Does anyone have fly? No, we can't fly. Boy, we are a super able team. Ooh, Thunderbolt. I didn't even look at that. What? Oh. Mm-hmm-hmm. Look at that. Lucasander can learn Thunderbolt. That's interesting. As can Fatterhorn. That's cool. I almost think, though, I wonder if Goyrin is the true one to get the Thunderbolt because, or even, or even Xylia. Hmm, okay, I'll have to, get, I'll have to mull that over for a hot second. That's all very interesting, though. Oh, oh, it's a creepy hex girl. Oh, I know from a previous life that we would face off. Yeah. Litwick. Go, oh, Xylia! You got this. Little fire thing. Litwick's awesome. No, we had one of those. Uh, I think it was Pil Pillows. Was that the name of our Litwick once upon a time? It was tragically destroyed before it got to fully evolve into Chandelure, but whatever. Neither here nor there. Much like the Litwick we just destroyed. And what's the second one? Oh, a Haunter. Okay. Yeah. Don't you dare confuse Raimi, bro. No, oh, payback. Uh, I believe that has to go second for it to be any good at all. Which it wasn't. Enjoy the rocky helmet. Be hit by the surfy rain. Now you're dead. Bam! New attack? Uh, I doubt it. Yeah. Because we just learned. I don't know. I can't remember the last time we leveled up with you. I think we just learned Ice Beam, though. So, move along. Nothing to see. Let's see. What do you want? Is that an item in the... What is that over there? That red dot. Is that an item? Hmm. Curious. Oh, Quagsire. Well, you look like absolutely easy pickings for one juge, Mr. Quagsire. Boy, Quagsire is the most disappointing evolution, I think. Like, I remember way back in... When Pokemon Gold had just came out, I remember initially catching a Wooper and being like, oh my god, new favorite Pokemon. I love it. It looks so cool. Uh, and then Quagsire is what it evolved into. And I was like, oh, 
Uh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, the length they want you to go to get to that item. Through the mash. No, I'm not fighting you, Stunfisk. I don't care. We don't need swamp flounders slowing me down. But we're gonna have to figure out what it is. Oh, hey, no. Hey, I wanted to fight. What are you doing? I'm blocking the path. I am a Snorlax. Ha! Become one with nature to understand how Pokemon truly feel. Is that why you're running around in a marsh? I think there are better ways. Ranger Reed. Ooh, put All right, all right. Ah, see? Now wouldn't it be great to have Thunderbolt on Xylia here? We'd just be like, zippity zap. You're dead. Maybe we should, maybe we could get rid of Parashong for Thunderbolt. I haven't used it at all. So, hmm. Oh, you used Body Slam. That's hilarious. But how about this? I used the Body Slam, and I'm wearing the Rocky Helmet, and you're paralyzed? No, you didn't get paralyzed. That's a bummer. Okay. Hmm. They've got the same moves as we do. I think I am going to do that Thunderbolt for Parish Song. I like that idea. The question is, who's going to paralyze who first? Ah, it was us. It was us. Fortunately, though... We have the Rocky Helmet. We will not be deterred. Ah, you did. Take that, Poliwhirl. <laughs> Fracture? Oh. Oh, it is on. Ice Beam. Of course, he's going to get to you first. Oh, no, it's really on. Uh oh, crap. This could be a problem if um, this Ice Beam doesn't go. Okay. If we'd been paralyzed there, I felt like we would have been in, like, the uh, the death range. To be hit by that fracture but alas <laughs> they weren't ready they weren't ready loudred oh ah from our zorkor days zorkor was the name of the wismer way back i think in when we did um emerald that haunted us throughout okay so we're gonna switch here because um now we're paralyzed and confused and lightly low on health. We're going to throw a Goyrin who hasn't gotten a chance to stretch her leaderly legs here in a hot second. I mean, we're just against normal type Pokemon anyway. Famous last words. Oh no! Gosh, seriously. Ugh, lame. Lame, 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 lame. Uh, how about some extra sensory for you, friend? <laughs> Yeah. How? That's not going to matter. Because you go second, and you'll be extrasensory dead by then. What are the odds of walking into a bite? <laughs> there you go. Way to go, Goyrin. Show me how's done. So I'll be able to look to you as our leader. Well, not me. I'm still your leader. I'm like the trainer. But everyone else, you know what I mean. You get it. You understand. All right, let's get to this item, which is like a hyper potion. Okay, well, we'll definitely use it more than I can say for some other things. Whoosh, ugh, come on now. <laughs> what is that? Was oh, another one? Wait, is that? Wait. For a hot second, I thought that was shiny. I don't know why. It's not. Okay. That would have been insane. Then we definitely would have been using it. <laughs> oh, we're going to have to get that item. Okay. I have to wade through the swamp. Or can we? When I look at the swamp, I can't help but think of poison. I'm sorry. That wasn't really a very interesting thing to say. Oh! Oh! Well, that's... I mean... Yeah, it gets worse over time. I wish we had more of like a sludge bomb type thing. Although, here, let's go ahead and do this. Thunderbolt. Yes, we're definitely going to do Thunderbolt. Which move should be forgotten? Uh, we're going to order Parish Song because I haven't used it and I like Thunderbolt. Maybe Parish Song would have been the answer to our... Uh... <laughs> We don't have any poison type attacks. We'll just perish song, switch out, fatter horn, wait it out, boom, you're dead. Too late now, though. Doesn't matter. Not upset about it. Perish song feels like a cheap way to win. 
ultimately. We can get over to the paralysis there. I think we have to surf to get over to that item. Yes. What a random thing. Like, oh, this must be good because you had to surf to get it. A damp rock. Are we sure that's an item and not just something on the ground? I think all of the rocks here would be damp. It is raining. It is a swamp. Hashtag swamp farts. That was the, one of the funniest videos. Or we had such a fun time writing it anyway. <laughs> oh, it's you guys. Come on, this way. No, oh, come on, this way. We made it to the spoopy house, you guys. Woo! So, this is the house. It is a scary house, isn't it? Well, I guess we should go inside. What? You're going inside? Are you all serious? But Serena's off spending time with her Pokemon, so I guess we'll just have to go inside without her. I guess so. All right, let's go. Everyone just move. So much narrative. Oh, hi, dude. Do you live here? Let's get started then. Oh, look at the shaky cam. It was a dark and stormy night many years ago. Lost, I arrived at this house and went inside. The lights would not turn on, so I fearfully looked around the house. Eventually, I made my way into the kitchen. There was no sign of anyone being there. Eventually, you made your way into the kitchen. That's like one step into the door, dude. I found the fridge, and when I opened it, a faint light leaked out. I could make out my surroundings, and I saw the faint outline of a man huddling in the corner of a room. I tried to tell him that I was lost, and I was hoping he'd let me stay until morning, but when I approached him, the man said of the scream, Stay back! I apologized and continued to plead my case. Please, can't you help me? I'm not talking to you, he shouted. I looked at the man in surprise. When I did this, the man asked me, Can't you see them? Behind you? A horde of faceless men! crazy a horde now then since i told you a wonderful story that would always haunt you would you be so kind as to tip me oh you're charging us mm-hmm no not giving a tip sheesh i agree what dumbness huh it's over already was that story you told true huh all right glad we came here y'all i guess it really was a scary house in a way yeah Tipping. <laughs> so scary. Well, I know you wanted to go camping, and that's kind of what camping's like. Mm, like? Like? What? Kind of what camping's like. I could talk. Words are easy. They come natural to this purse. Got me. See you later, Big J. All right, bye. Can you help my Pokemon? Okay. Was there anything actually in the house? Can you find anything? Or is this dude just standing here? It seems like a weird thing to include in the game if nothing's actually here. Okay, whatever, dude. Thank you for wasting my time. Do, 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 do. And new city. La Veri City. All right. Ooh, can we go shopping? <gasps> we haven't bought anything new in a while. Maybe we don't really need anything new, but let's see what we got. Oh, the V-neck, the V-neck. Oh, the Z wait, we already have that. None of these are actually very cool, are they? I mean, we could go for this, this, this right here. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Let's do it, okay. We could go for some different jeans. Look, it's a whole new us you got. Oh, that's terrible, that doesn't match at all. Oh, we can get the skinny jeans, of course. No, that doesn't look very good. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick with that. No new socks. Can we get some killer new boots though? Mmm, yeah. Now we're looking good. I don't know if we need a different bag. What about hats? Outdoors cap. Mmm, mmm. No, I think we're good. New boots. New shirt. Oh yeah, look at us now. You look so different. It's like, wow, we're actually a lot taller. All right, great. <clears throat> Yay, we look cool. Oh my gosh, that was expensive. Probably shouldn't have done that. Here we go. All right, please come again. All right, bye. Okay, you guys, well, we are in the town of the next gym, which is somewhere around here, but 
Uh, I think that's where we're going to call it for today. We've made it down Route 14. We caught a new friend. Uh, let me know, what do you think about the idea of trading for Escavalier? Hmm, hmm, it does seem interesting, doesn't it? Um, I, I, I actually am interested in that because it's a really cool Pokemon. Looks-wise, I've never used it. Uh, and it would be, I think, Bug Steel? Yeah, that sounds right. That's pretty cool. Anyway, you'd have like a little knight on our team. Yeah, that'd be neat. So let me know your thoughts about that in the towel section down below. Otherwise, thanks so much for liking this video. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment so that perhaps you can get a future Pokemon named after yourself as well. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episodes. And until then, bye!